Okay, we're here at the Spot X uh, stand, Mobile World Congress, with Alan Kay, VP Mobile and Connected Devices at Spot X. How are you, Alan? I'm doing very well, thank you. Tell us something about what you're doing here at this moment, what you're presenting, please. Absolutely. So, mm. Spot X is a platform for publishers, premium publishers, broadcasters, uh, newspaper and news organizations, application developers, anybody with mobile web or mobile app inventory to connect with advertisers in a programmatic fashion, whether that be programmatic direct, deal ID, private marketplaces, open, open marketplaces. We provide publishers with all the tools that they need to monetize uh, their content and applications and connected TV devices with uh, video advertising. So. What we do is we provide them tools that allow them to add advertisements and video advertisements into non-video content, to run pre-roll, to run interstitials in applications, mm -hmm. and to run in connected TV environments. Mm -hmm. so and it's a had, growing market, no? It's a market that's always growing at this moment, no? Absolutely, it's You're, a huge market, mm -hmm. and what we find is that the content is increasingly being consumed uh, in mobile and now connected TV platforms. And mm -hmm. we, as we work with publishers, uh, we're finding that the advertisers want to be able to access this inventory at scale, and, and that's what we do. So it's been a great show for us. We've had a tremendous amount of inventory, a lot of traditional publishers as well that have been coming in, working with the uh, buyers who are looking for the premium brands to work with on uh, on video, and we've uh, found that it's been just a, an incredibly successful show. What's about the ad blockers? No, the, the users sometimes they don't want to be to see so much ads. So we have a problem in the industry. Millions of people are putting ad blocks. What do you think what we can do as an industry, as Spodix, against Absolutely. this or about this or some ideas if you if you want no, to tell it's, us? It's a great question and I think one of the things that the industry has been struggling with is the fact that the uh, CPMs and the, the revenues and even the effectiveness of display has continued to decrease and so the answer by many in the industry has to create either more uh, disruptive advertisements or add more ad positions themselves into the content. So you go into a web page and you will see 10 ad positions all over the page or very disruptive ad positions that move. Mm -hmm. And it, it really kind of takes away from the user experience who uh, are trying to consume the content. What we think is going to happen, and, and I believe that where the industry is going, is to actually take that and remove all of the ad positions that are distracting mm -hmm. and, and to reduce the number of ad positions into an ad position that for an advertiser is much uh, more effective. They get uh, much better brand retention by the actual uh, users and, and readers. And it's better for the publisher because the CPMs as a result are higher. So what we're seeing is a move uh, for specifically traditional publishers into things like in-content units, like our SpotX in-content unit, which actually takes and drops video content in a way that doesn't have sound on, isn't disruptive to the user experience, but it's in the flow of content uh, and for the reader. And it's much more valuable, both for the advertiser and the publisher. If we reduce the number of ad positions, it reduces the data load, it reduces the number of, of beacons and pixels and other things firing, the number of client-side auctions, it increases the page speed, and it in increases the brand retention for the advertiser while the yields for the publisher. And that's where we think yes. it's going. You are putting, you are pushing the video, no? Spot is, uh, Spot X is a, is yes. a video. So you, you believe that the video is as clear as your main business. What happens with the digital, with display, with the banners? They, they will die, they will disappear? What do you think? Because no, the, everybody I, speaks video, you also... So what happens with the other part? I think banner becomes a companion to the video portion, right? So mm -hmm. if you think about it, it's about executing a buy holistically. Mm -hmm. I think if you if you were to ask most people, they don't remember the last banner ad that they saw. So if you were to, we used to do this as a publisher. I came from the publisher side. Yes. We would load up uh, site design and we would put the banner ads on the site. We would do the testing with the users and we would say, uh, okay, you've closed this down. What did the site look like? They would be able to tell you. What did you like? What didn't you like? They would be able to tell you. What ads were on the page? They had no idea what ads were on the page. They didn't remember. The retention wasn't there because in Banner, you don't get the motion and the sight and the sound that makes video a compelling experience. I think, though, as you take that and you use banners to reinforce around the content of the video and the video advertisement on the page, you're going to see a much more effective, holistic buy and uh, retention buy uh, the users and it's going to be better for advertisers, but I think the idea of too many conflicting banner ads is is got uh, is a thing of the past. Okay, and okay, we are seeing here some some things uh, presenting. You know, you're presenting some news. I think for this year, can you tell us something more about uh, the new products or new services you are presenting here this fair, or you will put out on the market uh, this 2016? Absolutely. So as part of our platform, which is kind of 
the core is a, is a really powerful ad server uh, and SSP platform. What we've done this year is kind of work with publishers to help give them more endpoints for their video advertising content uh, and give them the ability to kind of ramp up their inventory and control on platforms like Apple TV. So this year we rolled out the SDK for the Apple TV OS, which uh, we've already started to see with some very premium publishers, some uh, Apple App Store of the Year publishers uh, who are going out and uh, taking their video content that lives on the web or even in broadcast environments and putting that on uh, connected television, which we think is uh, an extreme growth area for many uh, video publishers uh, now that the ecosystems are becoming more open. We're going to continue to invest in those areas. We've invested in new endpoints for traditional print publishers, things like our in-content unit, which roll into the page and, and prevent uh, or provide more advertising uh, experiences uh, inside uh, non-video environments. Our new SDKs have come out that are all vPaid compliant. Uh, new, new tools around brand safety uh, that we've focused very heavily in viewability, um, and things like bot and fraud detection. So it's been a really busy year, and, and we're excited to show what we've got. Okay, I see you are not boring here in this company, always making th yes. <laughs> things, always uh, trying to, to pull out interesting products for the industry. I think it's very good, and thank you for your time. Wish you all the best in this, in this, in this fair, and thanks you, Alan. Thank you. Thanks.